Hi, my name is Jessica and I go to the Kinsman campus here and I'm just going to share a little bit more of my story. <laughs> but um, the year of my dad's death, which was about two years ago, um, I was at my lowest. Not only was it because of his death, but I was also dealing with a lot in, in, um, in school. And so I was starting off college pretty rough. Um, drinking a lot, partying a lot with friends. Um, and then one of those instances I was dealing with was rape as well. So I felt really low mentally. Um, and I didn't really trust in God a lot. Like I honestly didn't really believe he was real. And then this was happening all the way up until the year my dad passed. And after that, I felt really broken down and alone. So I kind of just stopped, like I stopped all of that stuff and kind of just did my own thing for a while. Um, didn't trust God. I didn't really think he was real because all of these bad things were happening. Um, but then fast forward to last year, I actually found myself in the hospital with um, a pulmonary embolism. I was terrified for my life. And thankfully God got me through that. Um, but unfortunately I didn't really go back to him and I still was on the side of if he was real this wouldn't be happening and I wouldn't have to deal with all these things. So afterwards I actually was um, found dating an atheist who I lo loved at the time yeah and things kind of turned south again <laughs> and I was really unhappy and didn't like Kind of was trying to start believing in God and that was really the only way I could turn like there would be nights where I would be upset and crying and <laughs> wishing I was dead honestly and so I then finally like started talking to God and trusting in him and that's when I left this guy at the time and honestly within a few like less than a few weeks I met Jared and he him and his family there amazing Christians like they love Jesus they're very welcoming family they make me feel like their family and so through Jared um, I definitely feel like God reached me and spoke to me and so then um, I do remember Jared telling me that one of his goals was to um, go to church more often because he used to go to church with his family a lot but then he kind of fell off and so to impress him I kind of started to go to church and we tried out this one church and unfortunately I was su still super scared. So he was very patient with me and showed me the love, you know, through God and everything. And so then I was finally like, you know, there was this church that I went to growing up and I absolutely love it. And so we started, we went to Rock of Grace here uh, about, I believe a month or so ago. And I remember Pastor Jordan actually spoke to me and prayed over me during that time. And one thing that I was dealing with at that time was finances, was because um, I was just going back for my MBA, dealing with buying a house at the age of 20. And so um, I was in a little bit of debt and in trouble. So after, after that, I just started like fully trusting in God. And I saw like major repairs in my finances and everything and all parts of my life have received healing. So honestly, I don't even think about that time, that dark place as much anymore. And I walk very fully in God. And so one thing that I would encourage people is that if they are seeing, I know lots of people go through what I'm going through and they are not able to speak about it. And I just wanna let them know that God is with you and you just have to trust in him and walk in him and he'll, and he'll protect you, but you need to trust in him and let him into your heart. It was one being the situation where I went through with rape. Um, I actually was just getting out of a relationship at the time. And so that happened within three days. And it was just awful. And I felt like, you know, I deserve this. Like I decided to do this, like go out and party. And I got myself into the situation. And so I felt really alone. And then there were also people in my life who, um, were blaming me for that, which is an awful thing. And so um, until you really go through it, like you don't realize how like awful it hurts. But then another time where I really felt like God was speaking to me and I just did not see it and was believing the devil's lies was most likely when, <laughs> actually I know, it was when I was dating an atheist and everything and trying to like get out of that situation. 
I would pray every single night. I would be like, hey, Jesus, will you send me a sign that I should get out of this? And he would send me signs, like, all the time. I would get signs, like, you know, something bad would happen where I would not be able to trust this person. And so then um, he sent me signs. But then I was like, you know, I just kind of deserve this. Like, this is the best I'm ever going to get. Like, I need to settle and all that. So there, <laughs> there are quite a few times where I felt that way. Last question. Speak. Speak to every girl out there. I want you to talk to yeah. the 19-year-old who was you a couple years ago. Yeah. What would you want the 19-year-old to hear so they don't go down that same pain, painful path? Yeah. One thing I would say is um, just be strong. <laughs> like, yeah. it hurts. And, like, everything that I was going through, like, I was finding out my dad wasn't going to be with us. Um... I was also trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. I was lost. Um, we were going into COVID, and so I was very alone, but you're going to get through it. <laughs> and even though it's tough right now, um, you're going to come out stronger. And, like, I feel like God has a way of, like, yeah, this might be an awful thing, but then, like, I have something 20 times better for you if you just trust me. So mm -hmm. I would just say just trust in God and you'll get through it. Like whether you're alone or not, like, you're gonna get through it. So. I mean, I was, yeah. And even at the time I was terrified. Like I felt like I just did, I deserved this. Like this is punishment for everything. Like, cause I mean, I wasn't, I've never even told my parents that like I was raped. And because at the time my dad was in the hospital and I didn't want to make that tougher on his life either. So I was fully alone during that time, but God had me, and yeah, so here I am.